My name is Scott, and these are my daughters, Reagan and Henley. At this point in my giving, I'm at nearly 300 donations, and I've given blood and plasma at different points throughout my life. And while I look forward to taking transit, I've always driven to donate. I have always had to figure out how I'm going to get there, where I'm going to go park. Today, this is even easier. Plan to be there for at least an hour longer if you're going to give plasma or platelets. It's hard to say how long because each draw and donation amount can differ. Here are Reagan and Henley to tell you how to get to the Calgary office to give blood. Hi, my name is Reagan. Hi, my name is Henley. We are both too young to give blood. Our dad gives plasma every week. Have you ever wondered what it takes to give? You can watch many videos on the process. The blood that is in your body are very special to those who need it. Screening will be faster after the first time. Allow about an hour for blood and two hours for plasma. First thing you should do is go online, set up your profile, download the app or call to make an appointment. On the day of the donation, you should Drink water to keep hydrated. Drink enough water to have to go pee before your donation. Staying hydrated is a daily habit, so drink water before you give. Centrally located, the Canadian Blood Services is on 9th Avenue Southwest. If you don't drive, the C train arrives two short blocks away from the facility. Depending on the direction, you will need to stop at either the westbound 1st Street Station or eastbound 3rd. Third Street Station. From either of these stops, you walk First Street and head south towards Ninth Avenue Southwest. The address to donate is Penn West Tower, 207 Ninth Avenue Southwest. There are a lot of buses that stop near the Canadian Blood Services. Go to Google Maps or www.calgarytransit.com to plan your route. Prior your donation, you will be called or notified to confirm your appointment. On the day of your donation, you will be allowed to, to fill in the questionnaire. You can do it when you get to the building or you can fill it out on the app download to your phone. My dad likes the app for different reasons, but he likes how he can keep notes and book appointments on his phone com and computer. If you do this on your computer, you can print the coded questionnaire or you can scan your app on the appointment. If you don't have a card, don't worry. You will be sent one, and the app will also display it. Our dad drives, but you can take the LRT, the bus, ride share, taxi, or even be dropped off. If you are downtown, you could just walk there. Figure out how you are going to get there. Plan to be 10 minutes early. If you decided to drive, there are dedicated stalls reserved for you at the parking lot located behind the Calgary Tower. The Palliser and Park parking lot can be accessed by 9th Avenue just after the Fairmont Palliser Hotel or on 10th Avenue east of the Mustard Seed. Reserve spots are, are donated to the donors for a specific amount of time. You just have to drive all the way up to the 6th floor. On the 6th floor, you will see a row with placards showing Canadian blood services. Head to the elevator and go to the ground level. Make sure when you get to the ground level to walk west. Head outside to the 9th Avenue and keep going west. After you pass the Fairmont Palliser, you just have to cross 1st Street Southwest. On your left, <laughs> you will see the Canadian Blood Services. Walk in and make sure to check in. If you have any concerns before you come, call one to donate. If you are happy with the process, you can give blood as a male every 56 days or female every 84 days or plasma every 6 to 14 days. The app is really good for booking appointments ahead of time. Due to cancellations, prime blocks of time open up. If you have availability, if you like to plan ahead, your profile can book times to work with your schedule. The slots are visualized on the app. Overall, the process of giving blood has never been easier. You have online profiles, mobile apps, dedicated parking downtown, and snacks to sit down and partake in. If you drove and picked up a validation ticket, getting 
out of the park kit. It is super simple. Drive down the spiral, have your ticket ready. You will need to put the validation ticket first. Then insert the ticket you picked up driving in. You are under the donated time allotted. You can exit without paying. That's how easy it is to get a, the building. Plan your trip and don't worry. There are also pay parking on the street or surrounding area. I would suggest using the parkade as the time allotted is more than enough to give. There are also satellite donation sites that occur around the city. Thank you for your donation.